Deep Dish Gigbook is fully backed up every time you sync and back up using iTunes. So if you have lost your data or files in Gigbook, doing a data restore should have you back up and running pretty quickly. And here's how to do it. Since iTunes only keeps one backup of your iPad, you'll first want to prevent iTunes from auto backing up. This is so that you don't overwrite the data you're trying to recover. So first make sure your iPad is not connected to your computer. Next, launch iTunes. Go to the iTunes menu and choose Preferences. In the Preferences pop-up menu, choose Devices, and you'll see a list of backups that iTunes has stored. Uh, below that, you'll see a checkbox that reads, Prevent iPods, iPhones, and iPads from syncing automatically. Make sure you check this box, and then press OK to save your changes. So now you can connect your iPad to your computer. In a second, you will see it show up in iTunes. You'll see the sync wheel turn briefly. This is normal, but your iPad will not do a full sync and backup. Once your iPad is mounted, go ahead and choose it, and then you'll see your iPad summary window. So before you restore, you should just double check the date of the last backup, and you can see that in the backup section. If your last backup date was before the data was lost, you'll be able to recover all your files, binders, set lists, annotations, and score details. If it was after, sadly, there is not a way to recover that information. If you noticed that you had multiple backups, uh, you can check back in the Preferences pane to see if one of those backups might work for you. When you do do the restore from backup, it will replace all the data on your iPad currently with all the data from the backup. This will affect all your apps, not just Gigbook, and that's why it's best to use your most recent backup. So once you are sure you want to continue, hold the control key down or right click on your iPad's name in the left hand column of iTunes. Uh, you'll see a pop-up menu and from that menu choose restore from backup. Next, uh, you'll see a pop-up window asking you which backup to choose from if you have more than one. It should automatically choose your last backup, but you can check to see if an older one exists by clicking on the iPad name button. So once you're ready, click Restore. You'll then see a status bar telling you how long it will take to restore the data. If you have a lot of apps and data on your iPad, this could take about 15 minutes. Mine is used mostly for testing and it doesn't have a lot, so it only took about two minutes. Once you're finished restoring, your iPad will have to restart. You can click OK to dismiss the pop-up window. But don't disconnect your iPad just yet. When it restarts, you'll see it in iTunes. Uh, it will do another sync and backup, and this will create a new backup that's time-stamped, and all your future backups will be updated there. Your older one will still be there. It'll be archived and stored just in case you need it. If you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to write me at support at deepdishdesigns.com, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. I hope this helps.